Well, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Horsepower and Bourbon. This is week six, trying to keep them steady for everybody out there. So, actually had some fun this past week. You know, th things are starting to turn around, everything like that, but we'll get into that in just a second. For this week, we are going to do an Elijah Craig small batch. So this one is an Ohio pick. And Ohio is a state-run liquor agency, which means all liquor stores are basically consignment shops. So any like higher spirits and stuff like that are controlled by state. So the state distributes it. it so we don't have all the store picks and stuff like how we did the Woodford was a store pick. Uh, if it's not a state-run liquor agency, then you have individual store picks. But this is a state pick, as you can see. So, those come around every now and then. So, during all this, it's been, it was kind of nice to see this pop up. Was able to get a couple bottles of this, which is pretty nice. I'll be able to share that with some friends. Get a little bit of a pour on that. So, Elijah Craig is now a Heaven Hill product. Well, Heaven Hill does the distilling and bottling for the Elijah Craig family, I guess. I'm not really positive on that. But he, Elijah Craig, was actually credited with being the father of bourbon. So he, he came up with the whole process of charring oak barrels, which is one of the things that makes bourbon unique. It has to go into a... The barrel's only used for bourbon. It's a brand new barrel. Nothing's ever been in it. The char level is all different, but depending on the distiller, how they want to do that. And that's what gives you all this nice color, the charring of the oak. So, get a little bit of a nose on that. Real nice, nice color. This, if you can't find a store pick, I still highly recommend getting uh, just a normal bottle. You can find those any day of the week, any store, not a problem. So, but we'll get us a little sip of this and get going. Good every time. And a little, a little different. I, I took one drink of this the other night when I first got it, but nice smooth finish and everything on it but so get to the horsepower per portion of this we actually found a racetrack to go to <laughs> so it's and it, it was a unique trip i'll try not to make this too long i rambled on on a facebook post if you follow us on facebook you will saw this already and some of this isn't going to be new news to you so a track about two hours from us, Kentucky Dragway, used to be known as Clay City, um, had a radial tire, a slick tire test session on a Friday, last Friday night. So the weather did not look good all week. We made the decision Wednesday to try to, we were like, well, we'll go, let's watch the weather all day Thursday. Watch the weather all day Thursday, and I mean, it, if anything, it got worse as we were watching it. Come up to it, you know, it was sun shining here. The weather had turned a little bit. Real low chance of rain early on in the day. Looked like it was going to rain later in the night. Okay, cool. So we chanced it. Loaded up. Headed southeast. So we get probably, I would say probably about 20 miles from the track. And it just starts downpouring. Just literally downpouring. So it's like... Ugh, this ain't good. And I was like, well, we're almost there, so let's... Worst case scenario, we can turn around there and come back home. So, I mean, it's raining and raining the whole way. It's not letting up any. It's, you know, at this point, me and Jim were just talking about, like, well, you know, got to try out the truck. You know, this is the first time we loaded down to go racing. So it was kind of, if anything, we're like, you know, if anything else is a dry run, we've got that out of the way. Pulling off the exit... Still not, still raining, not the downpour that we had went through, still raining. If anybody's been to Clay City, they know going out Mountain Parkway, you know, you get off here, the track's basically right here on the other side of the road. So we're going up the on-ramp, and it's, you know, we get up to the road, and it's kind of sunshiny and dry. I was like, uh, maybe it's not started raining here yet. So we pull on down, go up to the gate, you know, talk to them there for a minute, and they're... They're like, oh, yeah, just had a few sprinkles. You know, we're drying the track. We'll be back running in a few minutes. So it's like, huh. Okay. Rolled on in. 
got tacked in, got set up. Still no rain. I mean, it's it's like it was one of those meant to be scenarios. Just worked out perfect. So got everything unloaded. Got Jim's car unloaded. Got Terry's car unloaded. So you know, road coming buckwheat, all ready to do some action. I will post the videos here of their passes from the night. <laughs> So, as you can see, I mean, we didn't go down there looking to, you know, obliterate records, anything like that. It was more just to blow the, the dust off, the, you know, summer rust, all that stuff, or winter rust, get the dust, whichever. You get the idea. We were just going to have fun. So, everything went great with the cars, you know. We've figured out a few things that we've got to address on Buckwheat. Um, we've got some things we've got to change on the old road cone repair a few little things you know it's racing at this level there's some parts breakage here and there so we'll get that taken care of Jim's car we've you know this is why you test we learned a few things that hadn't been a problem to this point you know just until you actually put a car down a racetrack with the driver in full mode stuff changes so you know what we we had a few things we got to adjust for him as far as the driver on some the controls the gas pedal is just a little out of reach i think and on the g's it just it's pushing it back off the pedal i mean that's you can watch the g meter go up then throttle position goes down <laughs> so they kind of so we'll get that fixed though you know like i said we we dry fit him in the car or we'll call it dry fitting set him up in the car <laughs> And, uh, you know, he was able to push the pedal and everything felt good there. Stationary, all static, but launching on the one, the good pass that I included earlier, it went, I want to say it went a 120, 122, 123, 60 foot. And he was off, he was coming off the pedal before the 60 foot pretty easily. If you listen, you can hear it a little bit. So, you know, that worked out good you know we that's why you test you learn out these little things as you go during test sessions and that way you're more better prepared when you go to national events which we'll get to that nmra had to postpone the st louis race which was scheduled for the end of this month you know illinois is a state that's that's illinois i'll just leave it at that so that postponed that race now our next race will be the end of june which is the rescheduled all-star national at commerce georgia georgia's a full go you know they've been back up and running they're one of the first states to open back up and you know everything's been booming doing great down there so end of june we'll be there so if you're anywhere in the georgia area and well the commerce Georgia area into June swing on down check it out at the NMRA NMCA all-star national there then now we've got to we've got back here you know we know our changes we're working on them I'll probably go through make a video on some of that and go through it we got Larry's green bean got the cams all done in that got on the dyno done some shakedown stuff you know everything on paper kind of equated to numbers so really happy about that i'm not going to show you the numbers but i'll insert a dino clip right here of that
So, got that done. We've got a few other little things we got to do on his to secure the hood just a little bit better on that front lip. Then we'll be we'll be ready for Atlanta with his. Then the best news that we have heard in a while in this area, our local track has got the okay from the county they're in to open up. So we will be going down there. Saturday is the test and tune day, so super, super excited to get on that track. You know, Stan, the new the new general manager of the track, the entire Winley family. I mean, they've done... They have sunk a lot of time, money, and effort into this track, and, you know, it's time for us to get back on it. So, so we'll be hitting their test and tune on Saturday. Brandon Mass is supposed to be there with Mass Traction doing the prep and everything, so everything should be very much on point. A local, some of our local friends, Jason and Brad over 10 Soldier, got a chance to run on the track uh, a week or so back, and they actually ran their fastest time they've ever ran in their car there. You know, that's a car that's been to South Georgia, you know, has been on some really good tracks, so... That is very promising to us. To have a good surface locally for us to race on is a huge, huge plus. Very excited about that. But I'll be be the. But I will be taking a bunch of video and stuff down there. I didn't get a lot of video at Clay City besides the couple passes because we were, you know, figuring everything out, figuring out what else we needed to put in the trailer, <laughs> what we forgot. How does this need to be set up? How's this and that? You know, just all that. I mean, it was it was a really good dry run, first time run of the entire the entire program. So we know we need to change there, and we'll get that all changed. But other than that, that was about our week last week. Uh, waiting on got some motors in progress at Bischoff, which you guys know about. Those should be back. Hopefully in a, in a bit, but other than that, you know, thanks for spending a little bit of time listening to me ramble on. If you consider hitting that subscribe button, I would surely appreciate that. You know, the subscriptions have been going up, and that's always a plus. But other than that, until next week, go out find you one of these. Well, not this particular one, unless you live in Ohio. Then you can track some of these down probably. But just, just a normal one's good, very good product too. Cheers. See you guys next week.